Okay, so a couple of days ago, Discord changed all their colors and logo and fonts and stuff, and not a lot of people like it. So this video is just going to be a little quick tutorial on how to change it. I'm not in my usual location, so the audio quality is a bit naff, but we'll make do. So I'm going to install a fresh install of Discord on this PC. I'm going to blur out my uh, sensitive information, save it to the desktop. And the reason I'm doing this is because I already have this called Canary installed and I don't want it to interfere. We're also going to need this script, so we're going to copy that. Link will be in the description. Uh, we're going to need that script for later on once Discord's actually installed. Okay, so I'm just going to speed up through the install of Discord while it downloads all its updates. And you might notice that it's still actually using all the old sort of layout while it's installing. It's only when it's fully updated it will like switch to the new layout. Um, it's going to try and detect an account for my browser, but it won't do that, so I'll just log in with my phone quickly. And here we are. Welcome to Discord. You can see it has all the new colors and stuff. I'm going to quickly maximize the window just so I don't have to blur out everything. I'll switch over to these other tabs here. So what you want to do is you want to hit Control shift and i or Command shift and i if you're on a Mac. This will open up the developer console. You want to go over to the console tab. And it will warn you saying, hold up, uh, it's likely that you're going to get hacked. I haven't been hacked yet, so it should be all good. Paste that code in from earlier, and then close the developer window. If you head into your settings menu, you'll see that there's a new tab on the side called experiments. Now you want to find a certain experiment, uh, which is called product rebrand. And you want to drop that down, and you should get a couple of options. You want to go for treatment one, and as you can see, everything will change just like that. There are other treatments you can do, so treatment 2 and 3 can be used if you want to customize it a little bit further. But that's pretty much it. If this helped you out, consider subscribing, leaving a comment, leaving a like, and share this around to people who might want to change the Discord layout back to how it was before. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.